but he's perfect. <laughs> he's just perfect. Derek, go with him. Do not leave his side for a second. Do you hear me? Okay. Okay, guys, don't leave her side. Make sure she's okay. You understand me? Got yes, it, sir. He looked good, right? I mean, that, that cry was loud, and he, he looked good. You saw him, right? Uh, I, I didn't guess get so. a good look. Say good things. When you don't have the information, and you're talking to the mother of a newborn, you say good things. Because nine out of ten times, that's what's going to happen. The good things. What are you teaching these guys anyway, Dr. Gray? I know, right? Dr. Ryan, it's an emergency. I've got a mom with a placental abruption. Okay, Meredith, I've closed your uterus and I just start to suture your incisions. Do you trust these guys to finish? Have you taught them that much? I'll do it. No, you stole Nero. You're not stealing this. This is my surgery, my patient, my incision, mine. Dr. Gray, I'm sorry. That was inappropriate. It's okay, Ross. I like the enthusiasm, Ghost Grub. Thank you. Ross, what is taking so long? It's fine. It's just. And stop bleeding. Oh, oh, God, that's, that's a lot of blood. How much blood? I don't know. It's not coming from your uterus. Brooks, shine a light over here. I feel something on my hand. There's blood coming out around my IV. I'm in DIC. I need FFP packed red blood cells and platelets. I had a fall. What? Yesterday, I, I fell down the stairs. I might have injured something in my abdomen. Did you feel any pain? I've been in labor. Go get help now. Ross, we don't have time. You need to open me back up and find the source of this bleed. I can't. I've never... Shane, it's a basic midline laparotomy. Pack the four quadrants. Find the source of the bleed. Do not let me bleed out on this table. Dr. Gray. Shane, do it right now. Like the spleen is the source of the bleeding. Okay, so mobilize the spleen. Divide it by its ligamentous attachments. I can't, I've never done you it. You can. You've seen me do it. Mobilize, assess the injury, and stop the hemorrhage. You got this. This is your OR. You don't need my help. Yes, no, I do. No, you don't, because I'm going to lose consciousness in a few seconds. And you're going to be on your own. And you're not going to freak out. And Shane, if I arrest for more than nine minutes, let me go. Don't revive me. I do not want to be a vegetable. Do you understand me? Shane, I need you to respond. I need to know you understand me. Dr. Ross, your superior is asking you to respond. Yes, Dr. Gray. Ross, you can, you can do this. And so, tell you, I know the baby's name. Yes. Can you help? It's Dr. Gray. She's in surgery and she's in bad shape. Dr. Gray is very capable. She'll figure it out. She's not operating. She's the one on the table. To do a complete splenectomy to get control of the hemorrhage. What happened? This is from Dr. Ross. Bailey decided with the power out, it's safest just to keep her here till she wakes up. She's alive? She's alive. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to cry and, and scare you. I just... I just... Oh. 